okay hi there guys and welcome in next video in this video I will present you a game we have uh, done with my friend uh, his name is uh, Jacques Doplazis and uh, he did pictures and textures frames animations for, for the game and uh, I pretty much did the, the code the system of the game my friend also gave me some suggestions what to do uh, he pretty much came with the idea of the game but I took over the writing the code because um, you know uh, well never mind it was just faster to write the code because I have more experiences so uh, this is it uh, the name of the game is um, Dungeon Maze it is version 2.0 it's not uh, completely done yet, um, but it's just presentation what, uh, of what we have done. Uh, maybe there is uh, gonna be a new um, new friend uh, that is gonna be making music for the game because we are missing some some cool music for the menu. As you will see or hear in in the game, there is a music oh, that is not our really that's just temporary uh, just to test it so uh, this is it and uh, hopefully you will enjoy so what we've got here uh, what we see here is um, the menu so you see you can uh, go you have here a new game settings level editor and exit uh, there is a lava theme lava background so a new game pretty much starts a new game it uh, allows you to select the level that you can play the name of this level is a lava so that was just a test level you know uh, so you might play it uh, it also works for unlocking the levels and so on but that, that's pretty much it um, so another thing here uh, is that uh, we've got here settings uh, you can go full screen. Uh, I don't really record this in full screen because when you are in full screen You are not able to capture a video, but it works in full screen. You can also mute the music here um, The full screen pretty much um, The problem is that as it uh, is in full screen then the mouse sensitivity gets quite quite bigger quite screwed up but um, I, I don't really know how to solve it maybe I will manage in future so uh, next thing we've got here is the level editor I will explain that later and the exit button that's for exiting the game however now we are gonna play the level let's play it so now you see that we are in a dungeon um, there is a lot of stuff there is a wall you see that uh, you can't pass the wall really <laughs> because it's a wall and uh, there is a floor uh, the floor is just experimental yet so it's not done 100 percent we wanted the lava to f to flow under the under the floor well so this is your inventory your player's inventory uh, you can pin it so it doesn't hide anymore there is a candle i've got two candles one is lit which uh, provides me the arc of the visibility the thing pretty much what I see so as the candle uh, gets smaller and smaller as it uh, fires you start seeing pretty much shit <laughs> yeah you don't see a lot of things yeah you see next candle was fired and I see a lot next thing here is a armor bar and health bar and uh, crystals so health bar is here that's the red one uh, that's the health of your character when it gets to zero you lost and uh, you have to repeat the level um, you see when I when the window loses focus it pauses itself um, and yeah so this spinning stuff here is a saw blade trap there are traps in the dungeon when you go nearby the saw blade it makes something like the bzzz sound so yeah it's acoustics if you enter the saw blade uh, you lose your health and uh, the saw blade really changes its texture to bloody saw blade and you also see here pretty much the blood because you are injured and you are close to death 
So uh, now you see that I'm out of candles, which also saves to your file. There is a file with your user where is uh, number of candles you have saved, and also your uh, armor is saved there, and the crystals you have is saved there. Um, the armor, that's the second bar here, the gray one. Um, if you get the armor, and uh, if you get injured, the armor is drained instead of your health. And when you have no armor and you are injured, your health is drained. Next thing here are crystals. There is ice crystal, earth crystal, and lava crystal. Um, well, lava crystal is 10 earth crystals, and earth crystal is 10 ice crystals. Um, it will be used in future to buy some things in shop that will be maybe in menu, I don't know. You can find those crystals uh, in dungeon, they will be here around, um, and so on. Okay, I'm now here in menu because I had to change my amount of candles to be able to see anything at least. So uh, here we are back in dungeon. So here um, I will try to find a way to get out. Wait a minute. Alright, um, so here you see is the end point. That, that is the block uh, you have to get in to finish the dungeon. Yeah, so now we see at least something so here is the this is the lava crystal like a bonus it's nicely animated you see it's turning around this is a shield armor shard crystal you see here my armor increased and this is the ice crystal um, yes so it's here saved in the file as well as well as the armor so if I now enter the blade you see the armor was drained and the health is untouched, which is pretty cool. Um, yes, so this is it. And now you see when I okay, enter so the end of the dungeon, editor, it closes you can see and it clearly. The level so is you see that there done. is a name, so you, so you might select a name for the level. It might be pretty much whatever without uh, that. Well, it doesn't allow some uh, keys, something like numbers or something like that. There are just, um, yeah, uppercase and so on. So this is it. Um, you might reset the level. That means that it sets the entire array level to default. Like, you see, all you see here is the wall. This is just a dungeon full of walls. So here are basic blocks. It's not, it's not assigned here right way uh, because it's not done 100%. So this is a... Um, This is a impossible block. There is a issue with those um, tooltips. They are switched. So you see that uh, you might create like so a dungeon. Uh, please notice that when you use all the squares that are here, it is impossible to solve. It's so big. It's impossibly big. So I create here, for example, like so. Uh, I reset the level. So yeah. So for example, make it like so. And uh, here a saw blade. Yeah, no, no, no. Sorry. So here is a. This is this is wrong tooltip here. All right. This is the wall, pretty much. So you can't pass it. Please notice that uh, how the wall is here, nicely drawn. That's choosing from pictures. Well, never mind. So this is a start position for the player. This is where the player starts. You might have as much positions as you want. It every single time chooses. Uh, one of the positions that are available randomly so if I make here two positions it will choose one of them randomly this is the end block that is necessity because it is where you want to get to complete the dungeon this is a projectile shooter projectile shooter is another trap you might assign it to be left up down or right and it is flying until it gets to wall and then it gets to start position and continues so it's flying like that. It might be activated by default. That means that whenever it's, it's in game, it's already flying around. If it is not activated by default, it is not flying yet. I will explain that later. Uh, saw blade. Saw blade is the one that you have seen that's uh, turning around. It might also be activated by default or not. 
there is a pressure plate. The pressure plate is uh, really important because you might place it whether, whenever you want, all right? When you right click it and uh, yeah, you see a line appears and you might link it. You might link it to any trap you want. So in this case, we want to link it to this, to the flying trap. So whenever you move on the pressure plate, the flying trap is activated and it starts flying around and possibly killing a player as well as this saw blade. It will be inactivated and it um, wouldn't deal any damage because it wouldn't be spinning around. However, when I link it to the pressure plate and player really steps on the pl pressure plate, then it gets activated, starts turning around and so on. You might have as many links as you pretty much wish. Um, this was another try for trap. It's not finished yet. The idea was that, uh, that those are spikes on the floor, which are hidden, but when you are on one block for, let's say, one second or more, the spikes will dive out of the floor and damage you. So all you have to do is to move out of the block really fastly, not, not stay on the one block. Um, so that's it. We go to themes. The game has three themes, uh, ice theme, rock theme, Oh, don't mind this. This is just the glitch because it's not finished. So ice theme, earth theme, earth theme, and lava theme. What you see here now is lava theme. You see the picture here uh, and those. When I now switch it to the ice theme, you see it changes. So this is it. You see though here the black shits. That's not completed yet. We are just missing images for walls. It's just waiting for my friend to finish. So I will rather set it. Oh, if you go to basic blocks, you see that the saw blade has different image, pressure plate as well, and so on. So I will change the theme to this one. I won't choose the earth one because I'm not sure that there is everything. It's not absolutely not done yet. As well as the health bar changes to ice one and so on. So maybe I will I will change it to ice one so you will see ice level as well. Uh, you see there is a glitch because it didn't change but hmm, who cares. Yeah so here are bonuses, here is a health bonus. The image is not done, it's turning around but I'm waiting for another friends. So this health, bonu health bonus heals you and those are the money pretty much that, that you have there. Uh, armor. Uh, shard bonus is not implemented here yet because it's quite new. The bonuses might be also activated or not. So if it is not activated it is not visible and you can't take it. But uh, if it is activated, so for example you step on a pressure plate, it will become visible and you will be able to take it. Uh, this is because when player pre uh, moves on the pressure plate he always knows that there is gonna be some trap activated or something so this is to, to balance it so not only traps but also maybe bonuses so that's maybe like player should step on the pressure plates <laughs> yeah but it's not it's not working like that yet so um, this is it we will give it a name so let's say a YouTube map and all I have to do is to go save or load and now build the level so it's um, working uh, it takes fair amount of time because to be honest uh, the level is uh, incredibly big and all it has to do is to generate a different layers for the level to yeah so alright so now it's done I don't want to open the folder. So this is it. So now we are going to play the game. Um, I will just um, reassign here uh, the windows a little bit. Right. So I will close this one. In order to uh, load the level to the game, we have to restart the application. This for yet. So here. Um, Yes, so this is it. 
uh, this time I will it will not catch the audio from the game but I think it won't matter so you see I'm able to play this map because the previous one was done and uh, you see it kinda changed changed pretty much everything and you see uh, here is one more thing that I definitely like it was my idea I must say it because I really like it you know uh, it's a ice level uh, frozen everything so pretty much when you press a uh, forward key you move forward but there is a slide effect I hope you can see it you see I'm sliding a little bit I can't do anything with it I'm just sliding so it's then easier for you to get to any trap so you see here is a here is a health bonus that heals you and when I press on the move on the pressure plate it activates so here is the oh fuck here is the projectile that is uh, moving you see and uh, it deals fair amount of uh, damage here is the blade spinner I don't know why oh yeah there is a glitch again yeah it has a uh, few problems that I have to deal with but it is yeah draining my health so yeah so this is it and that's that's pretty much the game you see um, yeah so hopefully you enjoyed if you have any ideas what to change and what to add feel free to share you see this uh, background menu also changes according to the theme also the buttons are supposed to change but we don't have buttons yet for other themes and yeah so hopefully you like it and uh, see you next time